Hey everybody, um, this is the first PC game I'm doing, and hope you enjoy it. It is Sam and Max, and we'll be doing Season 1. So, you want to start a new game? Yes, I do. It will not be in widescreen because there is no widescreen function, which kind of blows, but oh well. Oh yeah, sweet music. And a really sweet intro. Some of the coolest old school music I've ever heard. Alright. to let you enjoy that culture shock quit moving around so much bobblehead when are we gonna get another case sam surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice patience is a sharp razor to swallow little buddy okay don't scream this time <gasps> ah, i got it i got it hello Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas even a padlock sweatbox. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Oh, crap. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes I do. Well, it's gotta be somewhere in this room. Good thinking. I forgot to set my timer. Because there's no counter here. Because we're in a PC game. hi -oh. Okay. Um, so... I have actually never played past, like, the first couple rooms in this game. Uh, there's no widescreen function. At least from what I'm aware of. So... I know what to do here, but that's about it. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, there it is! Well, there's the cheese. Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. So what? So, the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. Oh, yeah. Okay, um... So let's just get out of this room quick and get to the stuff that... we can... unsure about. Take that, you law-breaking dairy products. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. Oh, yeah. Now it looks like Swiss voila. cheese. Voila! Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila! Oh, uh, why not? Okay, so... Swiss cheese goes... No, no. Over here. There we go. Greetings! The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Tootie ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. This the the dialogue in this game is just so awesome. So basically, here you can switch back and forth between Sam. Uh, crap, I forgot which one. Oh, Sam and Max. Um. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. Yeah, okay. Let's get a little more aggressive here. Um, well... Eh, let's try this one. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. He has a point. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. 
Okay. Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't afraid of no cats. Hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. Hmm, well, this dialogue doesn't seem to be getting us anywhere. Uh. We've met your demands, we got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Lights too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Aha. Uh -huh. Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey. Like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! Ah, oh, for the love of... Oh. I wish I could unsee that. Hello? Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance! Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. Alrighty. Um... Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? <laughs> Speed Just pickle. you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quiet at times. 5.06. Alright, let's leave. Uh... Oh, there it goes. Sweet Jesus, that's a big afro. Whee! Whee! Alright, let's look at the afro. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. I hear ya. Alright, um... Hey, what are you doing? Say there, unfashionably dressed street urchin. Oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Yowzers, you are one ugly kid. Hey, I know you. Oh, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that old TV show about the singing soda jerks. It's called the Soda Poppers. And the 70s are not old. Specs, it's you. Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Remember when you were famous? Boy, you sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. I'm still famous. Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. Well, we're really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. Alright. Um. What about an autograph? Say, how about an autograph for my pal? You can sign my butt! Make it out to Squinky! I don't sign butts anymore. People get ticklish and they move and it gets all messed up. I'll risk it. Sorry, I can't stop painting. This has to be perfect. Why would you be willing to sign someone's ass anyway? What was that catchphrase you used to say on your show? It was like, you messed me up or something like that. Huh. You made me mess up, which you just did. Thanks a lot. Oh, yeah. Well, that's nice. <laughs> you're under arrest. By the way, we're freelance police, and you're under arrest. No, I've really got to finish this. But thanks anyway. Um... That wasn't... No, you're seriously under arrest. Seriously, you're under arrest. Come along quietly and no one gets hurt. Actually, I prefer that you don't come quietly. Must finish painting. Uh... Whatever. Excuse us, we've got important things to do. Don't we all? Max, you've got the TV schedule memorized. 
Weren't the soda poppers going to be featured on one of those grim celebrity tell-alls today? Oh yeah, on Channel 173, the Child Star Exposé Network, which we only get when it's convenient. Alright. So, what's this? Oh, that's the store hmm. we want to do. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Takes me back to my childhood. Looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. Oh. All right, let's go inside. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible, you called. It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? 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 Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist. A munchkin terrorist. He'll be the death of us all. Okay, well, considering I forgot to start the timer earlier, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for part two. See you later.